Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorop from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today I want to talk about backups. Specifically about backing up your database with package spicy Laravel backup. It's hugely popular with 3000 stars on GitHub and I advise you to set up that backup package in the very beginning of every project. So it's almost to the point that you do Laravel new and then install backup and then configure to backup your database once a day and then you forget about it. You never know when you need that backup and if it's set up from the beginning you won't forget to set it up later. So in this video I will show you a real example. I will set it up on one of my demo projects. I will show you how to configure it to backup only database because backup files doesn't make much sense because files are usually in repository somewhere. So I'll show you how to configure it to backup only database then how to run it once per day and then how to uh, inform Slack channel that backup was successful or not successful. Let's go. So I have a demo project. This is one of my demo project for quick admin panel. And on that I will set up a package here. So this is the installation instruction. And we do compose requires file Laravel backup. Okay, installation is done and it also suggests installing, installing this one to send notifications via Slack and we will actually need that later, so do Composer require this one as well. Okay, it is installed. Next thing we do, according to installation, we publish the provider and this should be much quicker than installation. Okay, and now we have config backup PHP file and this is pretty important. This is the file where we exactly will configure all we need. So let's go to the code. Uh, I have it opened already in my project config backup PHP. So what do we need here? Files. We need to exclude all the files. Uh, so we don't need to perform any, uh, any uh, file backup, only database. So for database, we specify MySQL. So we'll leave it as it is because in my env file, uh, it's actually, no, it's in database. PHP, it's config database PHP, MySQL drivers, default this one, right? So this should be left as, uh, as default. So we don't change anything here. Also, what we change is notifications. So for example, um, we'll get to that later, but for now it would automatically send the email. Uh, but now let's just comment it out to not send email and let's try to run backup just now. So we go artisan, I think it's backup, run. And let's see what happens. Dumping database, zipping file to disk name local. Oh, that one uh, miss. Where to store the, the backups? Destination is disks local. And let's see where it actually stored. Okay, so if we look at the folder structure of our project, it's in storage, app, and then Laravel as default uh, name application. So this is zip file. So if we unzip that, we have DB dumps and we have SQL file. If we open that with Sublime, for example, basically it's SQL dump. So if we run that uh, as import for SQL, it would work. Uh, so this is how we run backup for only database locally. Now how to set it up to do daily. Uh, we go to kernel.php for console kernel. Uh, and this is where you schedule every uh, artisan command, like nightly or hourly. And as an example, they, uh, well, Laravel default suggests you to have command inspire, which actually exists by default. So if you go funny, just side note, Artisan Inspire, it will give you inspirational quote, shoot. So very little is needed to make a happy life, so I'm wishing you that. Uh, anyway, uh, we can schedule any command with schedule, command, and we need backup run uh, nightly. Nightly means uh, every night, I think it's at midnight. Uh, something like that, or nightly. for some reason it's daily probably is the correct word. And actually in the web page they suggest, in the documentation they suggest to do it, let me find it, 
daily, yeah, daily at some hour that you want. And then there's backup clean as well to clean up the older backups. So that's all you need to to run it. And uh, now let's set up the Slack notification. And here I am in my Slack directory for uh, integrations, and I need to create incoming webhook. It's called. Uh, choose the channel that I want to uh, to notify, and then add integration, and we will get and we will get the setup instructions, webhook URL, and this is exactly what we would need here. So in here for backup, we would specify backup has failed or actually in all of those would be slack driver for notifications instead of mail. You can set it up by mail too, but I mean slack is more uh, more common these days and this is what we need webhook URL, paste it here, channel is backup, username, I uh, don't know, Spotsy backup for example, and icon, let it be something something default. And let's try it out. So on, on the default uh, successful backup, it should inform Slack channel. Hmm, notification failed and let's see probably there should be hash here for the channel and let's try again failed maybe username let's change username to my own followers maybe it should be existing user right failed oh of course it's backups not backup yeah Backup completed, and if we go to Slack, there you go. I have successful new backup on a channel that I've just created, and it's also showing total storage used, backup name, and all of that data. So this is how easy, well, relatively easy, you can set up the Slack notifications for successful or for failed backup for whatever reason. It would also, uh, it would also notify Slack channel. So I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you will use database backups with this package or with anything else. If you want more videos like this one about Laravel, subscribe to the channel and also visit our product, uh, Laravel Admin Panel Generator, Quick Admin Panel, to support this channel financially maybe if you subscribe and like the product. See you guys in other videos.